Hello. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of the user management section and the general settings on Builderstorm. To access this section, you'll need to click on the user management section in the left-hand menu. This will then load the user listing, where previously created users will be shown. Starting at the top of the page, you can see there are multiple search fields, which can be used to search the listing for specific users that have been created on the system. To create a new user, you'll need to click on the button shown here. For more information on how to create a user, please view the Creating a User and User Management Functions tutorial, which can be found on our YouTube channel. To the right-hand side of the page, you can see the action icons. The visibility of these icons differ depending on the user's permission for this section. In this instance, the icons shown here are only visible to admin users. For more in-depth information on each of these icons, please watch the Creating a User and User Management Functions tutorial. To add, edit, delete, and to amend the visibility of any permission group, click on this section in the left-hand menu. To view user activities, which will show the latest activity with a time and date stamp of each user on the system, use this section. To view the current status of each user that is on the system, click on the user status section in the left-hand menu. To add, edit, or delete any distribution lists, which are essentially groups that have been created containing multiple users, which can be selected when issuing a document, drawing, or RFI for example. You can do so by clicking on this distribution list section. This section will show how many projects the distribution groups have been assigned to and which users are in each group. The last section in the user management left-hand menu is manage metadata. This section enables you to add, edit, or delete metadata which can be made visible when enrolling new user, or within the user management listing itself, depending on the settings chosen. Now, I will move on to give you a brief explanation on the user management general settings, which can be viewed by clicking on the two cogs icon shown here. Please be aware that users have to have an admin permission for the general settings section to be able to use these settings. To add the ability to enrol a new user or to invite a user to the system for the user management screen, this switch needs to be on. This will then display an enrol new user button next to your profile name and the message notification icon at the top of the page. If this switch is turned off, this button will not be displayed here. To have the ability to customize the welcome email content that is sent out to users, this switch must be turned on. Then, the welcome email content can be entered in the box below, shown here. To preview the email content, you can do so by clicking this magnifying glass. If the switch is off, the welcome email content will be set as default from Builderstorm. If this switch is turned on, when a user is created, their notifications within Notification Manager will all be set to on. Therefore, the user will be notified of changes, for example, for all sections they are assigned to. If this switch is turned off, the user's notifications will have to be manually set for each section in their Notification Manager. To show the user's home address details or next of kin details when the information icon is clicked on, in the user listing, Simply tick these checkboxes. You can mark when the users were last contacted by using these three settings. When any changes have been made to these general settings, ensure the Save button is clicked. To view more of our tutorials in the User Management section or in any other section, please visit our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.